Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from uh, Curval.com and uh, today is time again for DAX Fridays and uh, we are going to go through the function RAND but don't worry, not just that, we will be also explaining how to break rank X ties, okay? So it's not just about the function but just how to use it in a specific case. So here we have a simple um, table where we have the number of items and then we have the sum of sales and uh, we have created a rank to be able to see which products are the best sellers. Uh, if you don't know how to create or uh, how rank works, uh, I have a video on that. So just check up the card or the description box below and uh, you will see uh, how to do it. But uh, in this video, we're not going to focus on rank. We, uh, I got uh, actually a question from, from a client that he said that he wanted to get a top 10 list of something. And... Uh, well, at first you think, okay, how hard can that be? And um, it turned out to be a little bit harder than uh, I expected to be, actually. Um, I did the most craziest things you can ever imagine to try to fix this. And I'm going to show you what the problem is first, so you can see. So here is the list. In his list, the ties were worse. There were a lot of ones and a lot of fives and a lot of uh, threes and it, it was virtually impossible to get the, the top anything so um, what we want to do is to get let's say the top five in in this uh, list so we want to know the top five selling items and we don't care which of these two comes up first no, you can discuss about that. But in this case, he didn't care about it. So um, something that we can think of doing is going here. And then we could use the top end function that was implemented a while ago. And say, so, okay, I want to have the bottom five of rank. And then we click apply. And there are no five items here. There are actually six items. And the reason for that is due to these ties, right? Um, rank does not break ties on its own. You have to do it manually. And I tried everything between heaven and earth and in between, and I did all the most crazy calculations you can ever imagine and I just couldn't figure out how to make top 10. So I want to make it easy on you and if you ever want to do this I just want to show you how it is done so you don't have to spend the hours I spent trying to figure this one out. Um, so let's remove that and uh, the way we're going to break ties is we're going to use the function RAND and RAND stands for random. So what this function does is creates a random number between 0 and 1, evenly distributed. Okay? So let's see how RAND works. So we're going to create a new measure and we call it random and uh, we just check out what this function does we put it in there and as you can see like the explanation says it just creates a random number between 0 and 1 okay so just very very simple so what are we going to do with this I'm sure you see what I'm going to do next so we're going to create a new measure we're going to call it i call it break ties because it's basically what it does and we will have rank plus i'm not going to use a random i just create it again and then we put it in there 
let's remove random because we don't need that one anymore. And here we have it. So it give us the run, give us the numbers to break the ties, and then we add it to the rank, and then voila. So now if we do the same that we tried to do before, we go in here, go to item, top end, we want to have the bottom five, but this time we're going to use our new created break ties formula. How many there are here? Five. Then you rem remove break ties. And voila, you have your top Thank you so much for watching. If you like uh, the video, please let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, let me know either in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And subscribe. I publish uh, Power BI videos every week. Have a nice evening. Bye.